All right, I'm sorry I didn't keep vlogging yesterday, but life happens. So it's the next day and I am at an antique shop and I've never been here before. So I'm excited and let's go. Cause I don't know, I'm into antique stuff now. So yeah, let's see what we find. I know some things can be a little pricey, but some things can be reasonable as well. But let's go. I got my camera with me. I really shouldn't bring it, but I don't know what's gonna happen if I leave my camera case here because well, you never know. People might be looking around your windows, thinking they're gonna score a camera, break your window, and bam, no camera, just batteries. <laughs> I'm really funny. I'm hilarious, aren't I? But today's weather is actually really nice. It's I don't know, it's a mix of, not chilly, but it's a mix of cool weather mixed in with warm weather. That, so that's why I'm wearing my, what am I doing? That's why I'm wearing my uh, slides, but I'm also wearing long sleeves. So it's a combo outfit. You know, I love combo outfits. I love wearing my slides. If you know me, let's go. I don't know, I keep talking and not getting anything done, but we can talk and move. Let me show you guys what's around here. Now I have to adjust the thing. Again, this is a no edit type of video. So this is what I have to do every time so you guys can see what I do for you guys. So let me do that. Actually, it's easier if I just pause it. Hold on. Guys, this is actually crazy. So I'm, about to, I'm showing you guys everything, right? And I look over there and it says Pan pa Venezuela. I'm from Venezuela, so you know I'm gonna check that out. What? That's crazy. <laughs> It's a panaderia, which is a, a bakery, I guess. Oh, look, there's another antique shop right there. This is the one I came to initially. This is the one I'm going to, KT Antique. I might even just do a voiceover because there's music. So let's just do that. Editing self here. I just wanted to say the vibe and the energy inside of this antique shop was just off to me. The moment I walked into the door, it just felt wrong. I wasn't greeted and... This is not just speculation. This really creeps me out, guys. I mean, is that not creepy? And then you also find a lot of racist things. <laughs> and see, stuff like that just makes me so mad. Okay, that bear looks pretty angry. He looks so mad. <laughs> Even though this is a no edit vlog, I think I'll just do some music. Even though the store was not a hit, I will tell you guys though, the next antique shop that I went to that was across the street that I showed you guys was a hit. The man in there, he was very nice, he was very helpful, and the prices in there were very, very good. I would even say better than some Goodwill prices these days, so definitely check it out. Oh my god. I don't know why, but cassettes kind of excite me. This is so nice. I wish I would have been around that era to see these cassettes. Oh, I see them now, but you get what I'm saying, to be around it more and stuff. Ooh, they even have, uh, what are these called? I forgot. Oh, I forgot what these are called. I can't remember, but. And they're out there. Wow, that's huge. How much is this? 145. <laughs> Christmas wreaths are already pricey. Okay, there's no music over here, but it's pretty quiet, so hopefully y'all can hear me. Ooh, are these lighters? <laughs> Ooh, a pipe. Guys, look at this phone. Have you seen anything like this? Look. So you close it and then you open it. What the f How much is this? Look. Hey, how does this work? But how, my thing is, how do you really see the numbers? I don't know. I guess you, I don't know. Wow. It's 125. I honestly love it. I've never seen a clock like this. I always see the other ones. And this is me. Hello. Okay, I see, I've seen these and they scare me a lot.
guys, look at all the cameras they had back then compared to the one I have now. <laughs> look at this. Look at that one. It's crazy. It's actually insane. Alright, y'all. So I left that store. I didn't want to record much because for one, like I said, you never know, bro. You never know. I like to be safe. So I didn't record much. And it was quiet in there too, so I didn't find anything. And yeah, I don't like the vibes either. I don't like whenever I go into a store and they greet everybody but you. What's that about? You know what I mean? So I'm here at the next store that I saw that I'm I'm still shocked. Oh shoot, I gotta adjust the thing. Damn. Look at it. It's a Venezuela. Pampa Venezuela. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> it's meant to be. So let's go in there. I'm excited. I hope they're open. I think it says they're open. So let's see this store was very nice but i feel like one it was randomly placed in not the best area i feel a store like this would thrive somewhere on mason road not old katie but that's just my opinion all right i know i look bright it doesn't matter i'm outside at the next antique shop so i went in there and i as you guys saw i showed you uh it was really nice all they really have is bread they don't really have any the drinks like that so I was thinking about maybe getting a chicha. If you're Venezuelan or if you're not, you sh you guys should try out some chicha. I am not good at explaining it, what it is, but just try it. It's good. Anyways, this is the one next to it. Oh, gotta adjust the thing. This is the Dova Tile Antiques. I don't know, man, but y'all see it there. And yeah, let's go. This is probably gonna be another one of those I would just do a voiceover because they got music playing. And yeah. Oh, I got some jewelry over here. Okay. This doesn't look antique. So we step out. What do they have here? Oh, is that a mug? It's hmm? interesting. Ooh, look at this phone. Ooh, look at this phone. Oh my god, it's too dark. <laughs> I'm sure I'll show you guys these phones. I remember when I was little, my mom had these phones, and it was right by her nightstand. Ugh. Just memories when you were little. Now I feel old saying that. There's this phone, but I'm not even going to bother flipping it. Look how big they are. Have you guys seen videos of how big they actually are? This is huge. But um, the gentleman here, he greeted me. He was really nice. <gasps> oh, is this the bird phone? Whoa. Yo. What? Guys, this is crazy. Oh, my God. This is so exciting. How much is this? <laughs> Don't even ask me why I want to know. How much is this? No, for real. This is... What the... Wait a second. Oh, <gasps> I thought it says $67,000. $67. Bro, I don't know what I would do with this, but I love it. This is crazy. I'm sorry, but that's amazing. <clears throat> I'm going to take a picture of it because I might get it. I, I don't know. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. I want to get a phone if you guys can tell. And that one is definitely cool. It's decor and a phone? What? Everything from back in the days just looks so much more delicate than everything made now. Just more detail, more put together, more love behind it. And you know, everything made with love is better. What is this? Oh, this is a fan. What, what is, is that a radio? What is that? I don't know. I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> oh, another duck. Is this a phone? No, <laughs> that's just a cord. One thing that I never understood about myself was my, I felt my random love for clocks. I loved looking at clocks, still do. They just amaze me. What you can do with clocks, you can tell time, but they're just amazing. All the different types of clocks you can make. It's amazing. All right, y'all. I made it home 
This shirt keeps going up. And yeah. Let me show you guys what I got. And you know, keeping it raw and real with you guys. This is what the house is looking like right now. Okay. It's looking crazy. Been ordering a lot of stuff. You guys know it's Christmas December, so yeah. And it's somebody else's turn today to clean the kitchen, so I'm not gonna clean it. Maybe I will, I don't know. Just depends on how I feel. I don't like cluttered spaces and this is looking cluttered. Okay, let me show you guys what I got. I got this nutcracker and he was only $10. Guys, I've been wanting a nutcracker but I'm scared for the price because everything is super expensive and Shopping antique, it does not mean it's expensive, guys. You can shop antique and it'd be a better price than you see on the shelves for this year. You get what I'm saying? This was $10. Guys, let's not cap. This, that cracker today, this would be $20 plus, bro. He has so much detail. Look at the detail on him, okay? No, I'm serious. Look at the detail on him. He got his little boots, he got his little rhinestones, whatever you want to call it. Bro, he even has his own robe. He's a king. I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to put him, even though it's not really going to go with the vibe right here, I don't really care because he's that, he's that man, okay? I'm going to put him somewhere over here. I might put him right there. I don't know. I don't want him to break, though. So, I don't know. I want him somewhere where you can really appreciate him. Right, Spider? Oh, and don't mind all my plants being in the house. It's cold, and then the next day it's hot, so I don't know. And then my tomato plant was doing so good. It's growing tomatoes. Where is it? Where are the tomatoes? All those tomatoes right there, and now it wants to start dying for who knows what reason. So, I don't know. I don't know. Look at those little paws. Mmm. I could just eat the little paws. I could just eat the little paws. I love her little paws. Uh, I don't know where to put it. Should I put it somewhere in the kitchen? No, the kitchen's too cluttered. Nah, no, not the kitchen. But I definitely, no, no, no. You know what? We're going to make it work. We're going to make it work right here. Forget it. We have to make it work. I'm not going to leave it there because that would definitely fall and break, but... I, I kind of, I don't want to put him down here, but it kind of takes away from his spotter. If you eat this, he's not food. But you can't even see him down there. No. No. He needs to show. Where am I going to put him? Uh. <laughs> that doesn't look like it goes there. Okay. What do we do? What to do? Where do we put it, Monkey? Where do we put it? If anybody, if anybody's wondering why why I call her a monkey, you know how you just stop, mm -mm, leave it, leave it. You know how you just come up with nicknames for your kids because Spider's my baby. So randomly, I don't know. I just started started calling her Chunky Monkey because. Oh my goodness, really? Really? <laughs> Y'all saw that, right? I started calling her Chunky Monkey because no matter how much she eats, she's always hungry. Always hungry, so I call her Chunky Monkey. And I mean, no harm by it, I just, that's what I call her. And she even, if you call her that, she'll come, well, I don't know, don't call her that. I'm the only one who can call her that, but when I call, <laughs> when I call her that, she comes. So, she knows Spider and Chunky Monkey. So she comes to either or. And now she's destroying my slippers. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I guess I'll just put it there for now and figure out where I should put it. And don't mind these clothes. They're also drying. Because, okay, this one's mm, a little bit wet still. This one's still kind of wet. I can hang this. This is still wet. Okay. 
We do the old traditional way here. We dry stuff on the couch. We don't have anywhere to dry it. You know, we have the dryer, but we don't want things to shrink. So that's why I'm gonna put this here. Put that there. Awesome, awesome. Getting my life together. And what else did I get? So I got that, and then I got these two other ornaments. I got this one from Starbucks. This is from 2008. And what really intrigued me to get this piece is the fact that it has so much detail. I'm serious. Anything nowadays does not have as much detail and attention to detail as they did back then. And even though it's 2008, that's still detail. So let me get my scissors and we can open it. Yeah, y'all wanted real life footage of real life messes? This is it, guys, okay? I'm not hiding the mess from y'all. That's just what it is. That's the mess. That's re the reality of living. And then the spider, she has all her toys everywhere. She has, she has a toy. I kid you not. I'm not making this up. She has a toy in every room of the house, including the bathroom. Including the bathroom. If I can open this. So, she's full, that's for sure. And I'm always thinking, oh, I should get her more. I should get her more. No. She has too many toys. <laughs> she has enough toys. And I think she's getting a couple more from her grandparents during Christmas. Whenever we open gifts, I'm excited for that. But at the same time, she has a lot of gifts. But see, look, it's it's good material. And this was $8. Oh, I believe I already mentioned this, but the Nutcracker was $10. I could not believe it. I could not believe that the Nutcracker was $10 to the point where I asked the guy working there. I said, hey, is this $10? And he said, yeah. And I'm looking at him. $10? Sold. Sold for $10. Okay. I thought he mispriced it. But... Y'all see, see the attention to the detail? Look at everything. It even tells you, caution, it's hot. It tells you what you select. Just how you would a cup, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, a, a Starbucks cup. I love it. I love it. Now, the only thing that would really set this off, which is already perfect, but I'm just saying, if you really, really wanted to do and be extra, was put that little thing where, you know, how you can drink it like that. But overall, 10 out of 10 with the detail. Then I got this collector's series from Hallmark. I don't know if they still do the sell these or what, but I mean, look at this. If it would focus. I am just intrigued. Wait till you see it, guys. It's so cute. It's so cute. Look at this. Okay, wait, I gotta show you guys the light. Look at this piece. It's an ornament. Hello? Do they make things like this anymore? Bro, it's so cool. And if you're wondering because Ty was wondering, no guys, it's not real Crayola. But that would be cool. It's not real Crayola. You cannot do, I don't know, do coloring with this, but I love it so much. And look at the little bear swinging. Oh my. I love it. How much? How much was this again? How much was it? I can't remember. I believe that he was five dollars. Pretty sure. And there was a lot more collector's item or keep keepsakes, but these are the main ones I liked. So yeah. Now let's hang it because I'm ready to hang it. I've been kind of more into wanting to get. What am I trying to say? I have been wanting to get more of a sentimental ornament rather than the traditional bulbs because it's just, there's, there's no better tree than a personal tree that has personalized items. For example, Toby, that's my dog. So... You see what I'm saying? And it's just memories that you can live through the tree. And I love that. I love something personal that cannot be replaced or bought. So, I like this piece. I'm going to put it somewhere up right here. Yeah, like right here. 
Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna have to put y'all down. Hold on, y'all have to y'all have to look at me from afar. Yeah, that's gonna have to do. There you go. He is so cute. I'm saying it's a he, but I don't know. It could be a girl, I guess. And then we're gonna do the coffee. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Okay, this is gonna be first. This is gonna be for the hole to make it an ornament. So you're gonna make that hole yourself. Okay, I see. Total drying make time may take two to three days. Well, I guess it's good that we started now. What the heck? Okay. All right. Okay. Spider. Spider. Look. Look. Sometimes I trick her. If I say look, she'll come. Look. Look. Monkey. Oh, see, she comes with monkey. I told y'all. Hello. We do this. We do this. All right, left first. We're going to have to do the... The thickening thing first, and then we can wet her paw. And she's already having fun with the wrapping of it. Because that's what she likes to do. Bite on everything. Okay, that's good enough for me, so. Okay. And this is going to be... Ooh, this smells interesting. And... The chunky monkey here might eat it. We're gonna roll it. We're gonna roll it. Okay, this is not gonna work. I'm gonna need some type of... I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a... What's it called? A plate and do it there. Hey, 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 don't eat the directions. I need the directions. Don't eat it. Kind of shape it with my hand. I don't know. Make it smooth with my hand. Ooh, this feels nice. Okay, I actually like how it feels. I can't explain how the, it feels, but... I, don't know, I can't even explain it. It kind of feels cool. So then what I'm going to do is... I don't know if I need it enough, but I hope I did because... I'm not gonna need it for a long time. It says for one minute, but come on now. Who doing that? So then I put it on this, the plastic thing that it came with, and now I'm gonna, I'm all over the place, y'all. Okay, this is what I have. I push it down, as you guys saw. This is not food. It's not food. It said to leave it kind of thick enough though to where you can do the the paw impression and i'm not gonna make mine's too big because spider has a small paw she's not a big dog if you had a big dog you know work with that accordingly and do that all right that's as smooth as we're gonna get it let me keep reading this thing price impression material on a piece of aluminum foil when rolling out what if I didn't have aluminum foil? Luckily I have, but what if I didn't have aluminum foil? So let me go with some aluminum. All right, I got this big piece of aluminum foil because it kept cutting me and I don't, I don't have no patience for aluminum foil, okay? So it's said to put it on here. So let's transfer this over to the aluminum foil. Don't eat it. Don't eat it, careful. All right, so we put it on the aluminum foil. Now, keep doing this. All right, that's good enough for me, man. Okay, whatever. She ate the part where it talks about wetting your dog's paw. I guess she did that because she is not going to like this process. Now, since a flat surface, technically this plate is flat enough, especially because I put it in the center, it'll work out fine. So I'm going to... Put this here on the floor, and I don't know how you guys are gonna see it, but I'll just put put you guys there. And I'm gonna wet her, here, I'll put you, okay. Man, if you don't see it, you don't see it. Okay, I don't really feel like getting the tripod. All right, I'm gonna go wet her paw. <laughs> Please be patient. Okay, Spider, please, the moment of truth, okay? Okay, you be nice, please, can you be nice? <gasps> That's so good, you did good, yay, yay, good job. Oh, she did really good, she did really, really good. Okay, let me show you guys. That's what it looks like. <gasps> That's actually perfect, good job.
We did good. She said, I don't know what you did to me, but that felt wrong. <laughs> okay, then what you do is you shape it how you want it to be with this thing. So we kind of... Mine's probably not going to be a perfect circle, but I'm going to try to make it a perfect circle. And keep in mind that you're going to have to also do the little hole for the ornament holder area. So we do it with this. So leave enough to where you can do that. That This is how mine looks after I, oh, after I took off the rest. So let me put it right on top of here. And I might have to lift this to get the... Oh no, it comes up. Oh, that's so neat. Okay, well, I'm blurry. Guess now you just let it sit. Leave completed print and shaping tool on the foil or wax diapers to dry for eight to 10 hours. Then carefully flip impression to allow the bottom side to dry. Total drying may take two to three days. Okay, so... Oh, I'm gonna try to remember that. I'm gonna have to keep this because otherwise I will forget. Eight to 10 hours. I guess I should have done this in the morning. Uh, okay. What time is it now? So pretty easy. And then once everything's dried from the two to three days that you wait, this is the little string that you're gonna put over the hole. And this is how you're gonna hang it. I, I love it. It's pretty neat. I love this. I love this. It's so cute. Now, I think her paw was a little dirty. <laughs> Wait. I guess her paw was a little dirty. I guess that's what makes it more special. <laughs> it's all good. It looks so cute. Here, let me, I keep showing y'all like that. Like I can't just do it and show you guys this way. Look at how cute. Isn't it cute? Okay, hold on. Let me put the flash on it so y'all see the dirt. Okay, that's way too bright. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, okay, there we go. Y'all see that? It's a little dirty, a little dirty. And she just got a bath yesterday, but you know, take her outside, runs around the mud and all that, so. I love it, it's so cute. I don't know about you guys, but me, I'm a no light type of person. I do not like lights on. If I'm gonna have a light on, it's gonna have to be a small light and that's it. But since I'm recording, obviously you guys need to see. <laughs> so that's why. But besides that, I don't do lights. I don't like lights on at all. It honestly bothers me. Let me know if that's how you are. I don't know why, but it just, it actually bothers me. Genuinely, it bo not bothers me to where I'm annoyed. I'm just saying it bothers my eyes, I think. I don't know, something like that. Set of gifts is for my mom. Got her this, this, this. Then I got her husband that. And that's pretty much it for now. I got Ty his gift and he already has it. You know how some people are impatient? That's how he is, so he already has his gift. Now for her, her main gift is the perfume, which is very expensive. I hope you guys can hear me from that far. But basically, it is a Daisy, Daisy Dream Marc Jacobs perfume. And yeah, this is pretty pricey. So I, I just wanted to give her something nice this year. I give her something nice every year, but this is really, really doing it this year. I'm spoiling everybody. And then, I'll put this in here and see I, I don't know about you but me I cannot wrap gifts I'm not there yet nor do I want to be I really don't care to you see how easy it was to put this gift in here and that's it and call it a day quick simple not time consuming that's what I like and then I got her these chocolates this Ferrero Rocher chocolates I personally don't like them because they have nuts. I don't like nuts, so but she loves them, and this is not for me, it's for her, so she loves it. And I got her these, this is kind of the holiday edition type, so okay. 
another gift. She loves her chocolates just like I do. And then I got her this sugar and cream set for coffee. She loves coffee. She breathes, sleeps, everything coffee, okay? She loves coffee, so that's why I am giving her these. Now I gotta clean it a little bit because it's a little dirty. But besides that, it works. It's cute. And yeah. Yeah, I gotta clean this a little bit, but it works. It's super cute and simple gift. The most, what matters is the thought, okay? <laughs> That's what really matters is the thought, not the price of it. But, man, listen, my mom, you know, she likes nice quality stuff and so do I, so. And that's ready, and the bag is reindeers winking, and I don't know what else they're doing, and some stars. So that's cute, that's ready. I'm gonna put a little sticker on this, put my name on it, and call it a day. Let's do the snowman. I'm gonna do the snowman. Yeah, bring out the pop in this thing. I really should have put my name on it before I put it on here, but whatever. It works. And that's cute, and that's ready to go. Then for her husband, I got him. This is a pretty big box. I don't know my this is, but it'll work. I got him this shirt from Hurley, Hurley. I don't know this brand, Hurley. And he likes dark blue, so that's what I got him. And it is a size large. It's pretty simple, but he likes simple. You guys know how men are. Most men are pretty simple. So that's pretty, you know, that's nice. And I'm just going to fold it nicely. And I'm going to put it in a box. Now the box is not complicated either. It's just a box. So it's not super hard either. Really should just put it on the bed. But, you know, I'm not perfect. So I'll open this box up. And open the bottom of it. Put this baby in here, like so. It's not gonna be perfect, but it doesn't matter because whenever you get anything from anywhere, you should wash it. So <laughs> I hope he washes it and when he gets a chance, wears it. And let me close it up. And that's it, simple. Okay, this might be even better than wrapping. I like how this box is. I like how it is. It's cute. Works for me. And I'm going to do, these are all the sticker options. I don't think you can see it. It's pretty far. But I'm going to do the polar bear. Slap this baby on here. And put my name on it. And bam, we're ready to go. Now I do have some extra stuff. This is my candle. Just got some extra stickers, but besides that, I've used everything else. So this is just trash, and this is trash too. And this needs to go back in there. Oh, no, 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 before I forget. Oh, that's another thing that I need to do. So I bought this, I can show you guys up there. I got this ornament from Hobby Lobby and you put your dog in there so i need to figure out how i'm gonna print this i know i have color ink so it should work but if it doesn't work i can just print it out at walgreens or something like that i got sleepy all the time but yeah i feel lazy to do this right now but i might do it right now just because we got the tree up already so but yeah, that's pretty simple and easy. I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this in this bag because this is my car bag. I don't know if you guys have a car bag, but I have a car bag. So this is my car bag and I'm just gonna put this in here and leave it in the car until it's time to go. Actually, I could just, just leave it here. I don't know. I don't know, whatever works, I guess. Well, actually, no, I'll leave it. Man, I don't know. I don't know. I'll just put it in here and then decide if I want to take this bag in the car just or not. Because I don't want to crush any of the gifts or the wrappings. So 
Oh, and then this is Hunter's stuff. If you guys didn't know, I lost my... I want to wear this sweetly because it is sweet. I lost my childhood dog. His name is Hunter. And we grew up together. He was a golden retriever. Super cute, super active. Just a big baby. Up until the end, he was always and will always be my big baby. And so, unfortunately, he had a tumor and there was nothing that they could do. And we had, put it, we had to put him down. And when I found the news, I was, I was sad. I was crying, obviously. We grew up together. You know what I mean? I'm saying we grew up together. So... And that was my son. So, it's pretty sad, but I have a memory of him. These are his ashes, and it's a beautiful box. It has his name on it, Hunter. And, yeah. He has his own little certificate, too. Super cute. Um, they also gave me a... Kind of what we just did with Spider, a paw print of his actual paw. And it's it's really beautiful. I'm trying to figure out if I want to frame it. Because I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to frame it. So I just need to find the proper frame for that. And yeah. But I did, I did just want to take a moment to show my respect to my baby. Because he will always be with me. And he's he will forever be, he will forever be family. I don't know, I just thought of him when I saw this because he's not, Spider's not the only dog I have, okay? I have several babies. Um, yeah, I'm gonna throw away this box. I mean, this bag. I'm gonna throw away this bag too. I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, we're keeping it raw and real in this video. Honestly, that's every video though. I'm not even gonna lie. Every video. I just try not to cuss. That's the difference. And I, I don't even think I cussed all that or, or at all in this video. So, I did pretty good. Uh, but yeah, let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see this December. And I'll try my best. I don't know guys, like I said, I just haven't really been feeling YouTube because for Vlogtober, I was really, for Vlogtober, I was really, really, really into it and I don't want to get into too much detail, someone texted me, but I've seen so many videos of how to become successful on YouTube and the key to all the, the the takeaway to all the videos is basically be consistent when you upload if you upload the more videos you upload the better so for vlogtober I was uploading every day but I feel things got worse I I don't know I just I don't know things just it just flopped and it i don't know i didn't get the views that i wanted i didn't i just it just flopped so and i and i i was putting in work i was uploading every day so it's just a little frustrating slash sad when you put a lot of effort into something and nobody watches it so that's why i'm just not gonna make as many videos anymore